Welcome back everyone. I hope you're all doing well and happy Friday. Friday's my bestest day of the week. It's always good to get to Friday and you can sort of like look back and see all the things that you've achieved and um, yeah, and you get to look forward to the weekend. So today I'm going to talk about signs that you are healing from narcissist love abuse. So narcissist love abuse is uh, truly a very difficult thing to recover from because it causes all of the trauma bonding and you're also needing to start to uh, regulate your nervous system again and it can play havoc because of those trauma bonds and also all of those energetic interferences that are still occurring but let's look at some signs that you are healing from narcissist love abuse one of the first things that start to occur is that you actually start to reclaim your energy and your focus so you're not feeling so pulled anymore and you have a lot more control of your thinking meaning that it's not just you're not just drifting away there's more control and you're able to focus on tasks for longer periods of time you also are able to look back and to see how you possibly put up with way too much that you should have called it out a lot sooner so that's a really good sign and you also start to realize your own worth you start to change how you see yourself you're no longer defined by the experiences that you had with the narcissist you stop blaming yourself for uh, having put up with things you realize that you didn't have firm enough boundaries you also start to envisage new things for your future you start to realize that you do have value you are the prize and that really a person who was able to treat you that way and who had no regard of whether they were going to lose you or not is not for you so the person you now start to realize if you do want to go back into a relationship is someone who's going to value you not someone who's going to realize um, you know what they've lost only once they lose you because of the poor treatment they had towards you you stop second guessing yourself as well when something feels wrong it's wrong and you begin to trust your intuition and you start to understand that being an empath means that you have special gifts special talents in that you don't only perceive your world through you know the five senses but that there is this extra ability that you have meaning that you intuit your world and that rarely is it ever wrong so you start to now value who you are another sign that you are healing from the narcissist love abuse is that they no longer have free rent in your headspace that's gone that's a thing of the past you no longer want to look at their socials in fact it's all just finished it's all done it's dusted and it's a distant memory you actually have to go and if you want to you actually have to search right for the memory because the memory now no longer carries an emotion and so this has to be one of the biggest indicators that you are healing or have healed memories no longer carry emotions and you are no longer caught up with this nostalgia you stop thinking about those good times instead you remember what it meant those bad times what it actually did to you the relationship with the narcissist is never all bad because if it was it you wouldn't even have stayed for so long the trouble we now have is that we remember those early times we remember when they did care when you know the, when all of that bonding was occurring and it was you know that love bombing time and it was very special and so this is what gets people into trouble because when of course you know the narcissist is gone or you know you've left or whatever's happened 
we keep going back to the good times and that's not what we need to be doing we need to dismiss the positives and focus on the negatives and when a person starts to show you right how they're going to treat you you need to start to see that as long term right it's not just uh, you know like wow if this has happened so quickly then what's the next year two years three years going to look like and rarely rarely uh you know do things change as i've always said people can change we can all change but it takes time it takes incredible commitment for this to occur it takes two people to actually have to face each other talk about things and then attend to the work individually and then together as a couple and if you uh, find that that this is what um, you know can happen for you and you trust it then of course um, there's always you know th there's always hope there's high probability often if you engage in the right you know services healing from narcissist love abuse as we know and that's why i have my channel it is not easy but it's also important that you start to remember how far you've come because otherwise you're always going to be thinking i'm not healing i'm not healing and what we focus on grows so even if it means that you set a small intention right i'm going to get through today or i'm going to go out with a friend or you know you may even start to date again then they're all really good signs of course you know you need to uh, to just keep focusing now on what you want relationships to start to feel like and i'm talking about all relationships in particular for empaths respect is so important feeling that respect feeling that love feeling that you can talk to someone and that there is transparency there i hope today's helped take lots of care and have an amazing friday and a great weekend i'll talk to you again soon and bye for now